Nabil Anan versus Mong Tai. Elbow Zombie. Going into this, I was like, this might be the worst matchup for Wong Tai because <laughs> look at him, first off. Bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, like, when they're doing the announcement, they're like, oh, he's Elbow Zombie. He's got killer elbows. And I'm like watching this this little thing right here where they're standing next to each other. And I'm like, but his elbow is the farthest piece of your body away from him. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna get in there. Yeah, it's with with your best weapon is getting close and landing elbows. The worst type of guy you could fight is someone long and tall like this because you just you're not gonna reach. It's never gonna happen. Looks like somebody took Mowgli and just stretched him out. <laughs> yeah, uh, Anonymous says Nabil bullied Mong Tai for three rounds. Yeah. Uh, big five, bully, eight, big six, brother to him a couple four. times. Yeah, six four. Uh, Grant, I'm I am uh, one inch shorter than Nabil, and he weighed in at one thirty six. I'm a cool two ten, two fifteen at an inch shorter <laughs> than him. Uh, I mean, just insanity. He's nineteen years old. He's now fought Super Like and Wang Tai. I mean, just, I mean, just insane. Uh, I mean, look at the two of them. I had to get a screenshot from the actual fight itself because the other pictures of them like landing shit doesn't really show how crazy the size difference was um in the super like fight uh you know everyone was like wow super like steamrolled that guy uh you, you can't just be tall that can't be your whole game and it's like well he lost a super leg it's not yeah. like he lost to some random guy uh, but what super like did was perfect is you know in their fight when someone's this long obviously the first thing you want to do is leg kick them not just because the legs look like they might be weak, but it's also the closest target, right? Um, Nabil knows that also. So what he'll do is he'll he anticipates the leg kick, he pulls back, and then fires off a kick of his own, right? He he pulls away from the leg kick to dodge it. He doesn't check it, and then he throws the kick uh, on the on the rebound as you're resetting off of your kick, and it's very good technique. Um, and super like he caught super like a couple times with that. But eventually, Superlek uh, made the adjustments. He started throwing hands uh, to Nabil when Nabil would throw his hands um, or or leg kick him as Nabil would throw his jab as he's planting on that lead leg so he can't pull it back. I mean, very quick, he made that read. And then what he also did was just start throwing his his uh, straight punches, his cross directly to the sternum. It's like, I'm not even going to try to hit you in the head. I'm just going to punch you right in that torso because I can reach it. And you can't do the tall man defense and lean away. Uh, and eventually... He punched him in the chest until he got him to the corner, and then he went over the top and dropped him. And I was like, very good. Long Tai, on the other hand, was just swinging for the fences, trying to hit him in yeah. the head. Just and walking just forward, too. Like, he didn't try to cut any angles. He didn't try to push him anywhere. He was like, I'm just going to go forward, and that's my only that's my only move, forward and punch. Yeah, and... You know, in the super like fight, that was one thing that you could criticize Nabil for was that he really didn't fight to his advantages other than pulling that lead leg back and then firing it off as a kick. But in this fight, I mean, he's throwing the front kick, the teeth kicks to the body, uh, the leg kicks. And you're like, God, I got to get out of kicking range. I got to step forward. And as soon as you step forward, you're eating the jab. And you're like, oh, my God, I got to slip this jab and get in. And when you do, he's throwing knees at you. He's throwing his elbows at I mean, he just fought at every distance so damn well. And Mong Tai just couldn't do anything with it. It was couldn't, it was a couldn't stop class. him from finding couldn't stop him from finding his reach with that like big brother thing where he would paw it out and just stick it on his forehead, yeah. dip, dip a couple of times, and then just pop him right in the face. Yeah, I mean, just it it was a master class, and Mong Tai has been in there with the best of them, and he just could not solve it. And look, it's easy to say super like yeah, found the blueprint, and that's how you beat him. It's another thing to execute it. And at 19 years old, Nabil probably learned a lot from that fight against super uh anonymous says i think nabil would terrorize the higher weight classes in a few years if he manages to pack on five to ten pounds of pure muscle yeah a hundred percent um if, if he fills out a little bit he, and he's doesn't not focus able, on it yeah, like he doesn't like lose his cardio because of it yeah and he's 19 years old like he is still filling out there's no way he's done you know he's so young so like he will as long as he can continue to use his advantages, because even even going up to one forty five, at six foot four, I mean, still massive, still massive. Rich, I don't know if you can you go back to um, the Nango Nico Carrillo uh, tale of the tape, uh, the picture of them. Uh, um, I I just want to see because that was one forty five, 
Um, and Nico's big for the weight class, right? Uh, but he's 5'10". Yeah. <laughs> he's still that's six crazy. inches taller than him. Yeah, that's um, a half a foot. That's yeah, crazy. If he, if he fills out a little bit more and goes to 145, he's still he's still a giant. Uh, and if he can continue to fight, like I said, behind the the teeps, behind the the jab, behind the knees, like very good. Because with someone like that, you want to smother him. But if he has the elbows and the knees to fight you in that range, also, I mean, it's easy for him to bring that knee up and find your chin. You know. Yeah. It's, but that being right said, there. though, if he fights, if he fights uh, uh, Carrillo, <laughs> Carrillo hits him. I think he might yeah, break his know. face. Yeah. Well, I mean, super like super like so much smaller and he's still cracking. Put him out in like a minute 30. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just to... so like he said, so like anonymous said, he's got to put on some some sort of weight because like that's a big thing that a lot of people don't realize is like weight definitely helps like keep you from like rattling your head all over the place. Like having yeah. a strong neck definitely helps out. Yeah. You see some people get hit and they and they're off. They're on skates, but they're not rocked. And it's like but it can lead to it, you know, when you're whipping around like yeah. that. Uh, Blunderbub says uh, that picture, Nabil's thigh is parallel with the mat, and it's at Muay Thai's chin already. Yeah. I mean, it's so easy to just bring it up as soon as you get in on him. Um, it's like the laziest high knee ever, but it still just <laughs> destroyed his jaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy, man. Very good stuff, dude. Uh, fun card. I know people were hating on uh, one for making it uh, pay-per-view, but, like, dude, people will simultaneously – say oh one's going out of business they're not profitable and then they try to sell their fights and they're like what assholes and you're like <laughs> what do you want <laughs> they've I'll, been doing also great like cars on youtube if, <laughs> if you want to if you want to get like like everyone this has been this massive push for like muay thai to be like a big thing over here in the states and it's like if you want that to happen you can't like yeah it is nice that they give away most of their stuff for free but you can't give mm -hmm. everything away for free if you want it to be as popular as you know, UFC, boxing, even WWE, like yeah. they all have paid services. Do you really it's, think that everyone's just going to want to do the thing that's free? Yeah. And it's not like it was $80, you know, <laughs> it was, it was 40 bucks in America. Some places had it way cheaper too. Like it, it's really not that bad. And you had three title fights, Taiwan Chai versus Super Braun, some of the highest level striking you could possibly have. A rematch from Prajan Chai, who's like a stadium champion through and through against Lasiri. And then the women's goat versus a murderer Muay Thai fighter. Like, if anything's worth a pay per view, like, that's it's worth it. You know, uh, Blundrup says, <laughs> I was grumpy before I remembered they gave us 45 <laughs> weeks of Friday fights this year for free. Exactly. Yeah. Like, come on. And and another one is like including the prime events that are most people already have prime and it's just included exactly and bro i think the only people that would be complaining about like paying for a one card are the same people that paid 80 bucks for a, Col a colby leon fight <laughs> yeah exactly like, it's always a waste of money okay. <laughs> not always <laughs> why don't you why don't you tell us about who hurt you all right <laughs> yeah and why it's the uh, ufc yeah, and why, why it's Uncle Dana. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it we're going to cover. There's a lot of more lot more fights on this card. The Cool Up Down fight right before that was very good, but it is uh, Christmas Eve and people have plans. Uh, so we're going to cut it right there. Hey, everybody. Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have uh, and don't forget to tune in live every sunday morning at 9 a.m pacific 12 p.m eastern uh, and you can join in on the fun yeah don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell it goes a long way all right everybody thanks for watching that short clip from story of the fight